Hey everyone, welcome back to Film Zone. In today's video, we are talking about Dr. Phil, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and also leave a like on the video. Over the years, Dr. Phil has encountered tons of interesting people, whether it be spoiled kids, delusional parents, or whatever you would call the sexy vegan, and because of this, I'm sure that he's had a few moments where he's considered quitting. I mean, you can only deal with so much stupidity before you eventually snap. It only makes sense. Now in today's video, these kinds of guests are exactly what we're going to be talking about. Back when Danielle Bregoli first visited on the Dr. Phil show in 2016, no one expected her to blow up like she did. The girl went absolutely viral and became an internet sensation when she coined her sassy catchphrase first uttered on the show. Catch me outside, how about that? Now although I will admit that Danielle is a very captivating and entertaining young lady, her initial reason for coming onto the show was nothing to praise. At the time, her mother Barbara Ann told producers that she was at the end of her rope with the adolescent who she claimed to have transformed from a loving daughter into a provocative, physically combative teen who stole cars. Despite this though, the internet made Danielle into a star so much so that when she came back onto the show for a second visit, she had the audacity to claim that she made Dr. Phil and just like Oprah, he was nothing before her. Ouch, that's gotta hurt. The look on Dr. Phil's face when Danielle says his BS is pretty funny to be honest and you can tell that he was finished. Here's a clip. What's good about it? Well, I guess what's good for you is I made you just like how Oprah made you. You were nothing before I came on this show. Thank you for that. No problem. Catch me outside, how about that? Huh? Catch me outside, how about that? Catch you outside? What does that mean? What I just said. Patricia claims to be defying the odds by becoming a record-setting weightlifter while also battling stage 3 brain cancer. Sounds inspiring, right? Well, unfortunately, Patricia's daughter Jessica is insisting that her mother is lying and that her mother has been spinning stories about various medical conditions for as long as she can remember. Now, despite the evidence backing Jessica's claims, Patricia denies these accusations and insists that her diagnosis, an incredible survival story, is real. Well, Dr. Phil isn't buying any of Patricia's nonsense, and he proceeds to put this disrespectful lady in her place. Something like cancer is a very serious and very tragic disease, and lying about it, it's pretty messed up. It's clear that Dr. Phil agrees with this, as he lets Patricia know just how wrong she is. Here's a clip. The report, which I have right here, says that you walked out of the hospital, that you didn't have any... You said you had to relearn how to walk and talk and and dress yourself and go to the bathroom. But it's I'm confused. You're I'm a sorry? liar. I am not. You know what, Jessica? Go, you go have your head cut open and see how you feel. I'm sure that it hurt, but you need to stop lying about stuff. Do you want to know? Not really. You, you don't want to know? Because I lived through this. I know I had, a, I had to learn how to talk again. I couldn't talk. Okay, but, uh... Haley is a young girl who is convinced that she's pregnant with baby Jesus. Yep, you heard me right, baby Jesus. Now, although Haley is convinced that what she thinks is true, her family claims that she's always been a compulsive liar and that this is just uh, another one of her lies. This girl is pretty creative, as some of her other lies include telling people that she was once a contestant on American Idol, that the rapper Eminem is her father, and that she's been diagnosed with schizophrenia, all of which is completely untrue. Wow, talk about issues, am I right? Now with all this in mind, Dr. Phil tries his very best to explain to Haley that based on multiple tests, there is no way that she's pregnant, let alone pregnant with baby Jesus. But Haley just cannot accept the truth. After a while, you could see that this girl's stupidity was starting to get under Dr. Phil's skin. I mean, just look at his face. Here's a clip. I know it's Jesus. I don't care if my family disowns me. It really comes down to if you're a true believer in Jesus or not. I know it's Jesus. I know you're crazy. She actually thinks her baby's Jesus. The first time I heard her say that, she was saying it was Jesus Christ in her stomach. And that's all you can say. You're not pregnant. You're not pregnant. You're just jealous. Some of her lies are the rapper Eminem was her dad. She donated a kidney to her half-brother. And that she was a contestant on American Idol. That's all the time we have for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching, and we will see y'all next time.